learn how to paint in acrylics. My name is Michael Pickett and I'll be your instructor. Well, today's lesson... up the drawing of Jade, our Christmas puppy, on an 11 by 14 canvas. We'll get the rest of her sketched in there. And now we're going to use our number 10 brush with burnt sienna and a lot of water. And we're going to cover that whole canvas. Now that we got the whole canvas covered, we're going to take our sock and we're going to wipe away all that paint, leaving the pencil show through. Now we're going to start out with the eyes first. We're going to use our Mars Black. We're going to start out with the pupil. We'll fill that in and the top and along the sides and the bottom. And we're going to kind of frame it in. And now we're going to take our burnt sienna and white and we're going to fill in along the bottom. And we're going to blend it in. Now we're going to add a little bit of white for the color down below where the light's coming through and along the side and get that all blended in and now we're going to mask in around the eye make a little bit of gray on the side and we're going to blend as we go and go to the top and around the side and underneath I'm going to fill all that in. And we're putting in our undercoat right now. Later on, we'll come in with the detail. And we'll get all that area around her eye filled in. Add a little bit of highlights here and there. Add a little more dark. Set her eye back a little bit. Now we got that part of it done. We're going to go to the other eye. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to start out with the pupil. We're going to mask in the top with some black and around the eye. And we take burnt sienna and we're going to put in the color. We're going to blend all that in. We're going to leave the bottom part of the eye brown. And I highlight it. 
get it all blended in. Get all that filled in. Add a little bit of light under her eye. Kind of bring it out. And then we're going to fill in around the eye, putting in our undercoats. We're going to add the highlights in her eye. Since she's looking up to the sky, we'll just make a sky blue using our blue and our white together. And we're going to lightly put it in. We're going to use our zero brush. And we'll mix white and blue together. And then we're going to lightly add that to the upper part of the eye. There we go. Beautiful eyes. A little more highlight there. This lightly blended in. You want to make it look real fuzzy. You want it to kind of look like pastel. But you have to do it really carefully. Add little highlights on the corner of her eye and around her eye. Alongside of her head. Now we're going to fill in the top. And get that all blended in. Now on the rest of her face, we're going to be adding our undercoats. We're going to be putting in our detail later on. But right now we're getting our lights and our darks together. Now we're going to work on the other side. And we're going to fill in that part of her face. We're going to create her expression. We'll get that all filled in. Just look at your photograph as you go. Get under the eye, and around the side, and around the nose. And now we're going to outline her mouth. Fill that in, a little bit lighter gray. Do some outlining with some white. Now we're going to work on the muzzle. We're going to put in our whisker lines. We're going to use Mars black, white. We're going to create kind of a grid. See how I'm doing that? Now, as you blend it in, you get that all blended in, it'll start to look like whisker lines. And remember, no sharp lines. She has real soft fur. Now you get some white and you work around her nose. And you're blending in as you go. Put some more white in between her eyes. You're using her number two brush, you're just filling it in. You're doing more blending. You're blending the white in with the gray. Shadowing the side of her nose. 
Bring in some highlights to the top of her head. Well now, let's do the nose next. We're going to use our zero brush, Mars Black, and White. We'll work on the nostrils first. We'll get the nostrils put in. We're going to darken around the nose. We get that all filled in. We're masking it in with black. We're going to bring our white to the top, and then we're going to blend all that in. Her nose is going to look round when we get it done. We're going to add more highlights in the front of her nose to bring it out, and then we're going to add more black into her nostrils, and now we're going to add some highlights. where the light is reflecting. Add a little more dark in front where it's shadowed. Add some more light in the top and on the side. Now add more dark around the nose. Kind of bring the nose out a little more. And we're going to blend it in. Put more white on top, and we're going to blend as we go. Add more light on top of her nose. See how that makes her nose look round? Add more highlight underneath her nostrils. There we go. Now that we got that done, we're going to work on our ears. Now we're going to use our number two brush, black and white. Put all our dark in first. And then we're going to add our white with our black and we're going to mix it in. And what we're doing here is we're doing a lot of blending. Give it a real soft look. You put in your lights and your darks and you're creating the folds, like how fabric folds. Isn't that cool? The ears looking really good. Adding some dark and light. Adding lights and darks. And we're doing blending as we go. Now we'll work on the other ear. We'll do that the same way. We'll put in our darks first. We'll add our lights. And we'll blend as we go.
add more highlight on the top of her ear where the light's reflecting onto her fur. Then we'll just blend it in. See how that works really nice? Add a little more light. More highlights. And more shadows. And we'll blend them in. It looks really good. All the better to hear you with those beautiful ears. Well now, we're going to use our number 2 brush and our 10 brush. We'll start out with our number 2 brush and we'll fill in some of the white that's down on her chest. And we're going to shadow as we go and add more white as we need it for the reflected light. And get that bottom part of it filled in. Now we're going to add our dark along to the side using our number two brush. Working on our body. We're switched to our number ten brush so we could cover more area. And it blends better that way, especially in a larger area. I'm going to add some light right up to her head. I'm going to blend that in as we go. We're going to keep it soft. Add some dark, long white part of her collar. I'm going to add some dark along the white part of her chest. Black underneath her chin. Highlights and shadows and blending as we go. There we go. The light's coming in behind her head. we we'll darken in the front. Now we'll add more light for the white fur that's on her chest. And around her nose. We'll kind of bring that out. Now we're going to work on her collar. First of all, we're going to add our black, put in our black lines to where her collar is. We're going to add our white on top of those black lines, and we're going to create a reflected light of the metal, because she's wearing a metal collar. I'm going to detail up that collar, make it look really good. A shadow along the side, and we're blending in as we go. You want to remember that blending gives it a more realistic look. You don't want real sharp lines. Okay, we're going to take our number 10 brush, and we're going to kind of shadow underneath. We'll work on the background now. We're going to use our green, white, yellow, and a touch of orange black. Fill in around her face for the background. We're going to make that real blurry looking.
Just going to fill in that foliage for the background. And now we're going to put in the fir branches. We're going to be using our fan brush. The fan brush works really great for foliage. See how that works? That's pretty awesome, huh? We'll get that all filled in. We'll work around the canvas. We're just framing it in. We want to create that Christmas wreath. We'll just make those fir branches. Some fir branches around her chest. Along the bottom there. We'll just fill all that in. Just create whatever you feel it's real Christmas like. Add a little bit of light into the branches to kind of bring it out. We're going to create the petals of the poinsettia by using the red. And we're going to be shadowing with a touch of black. And we're going to highlight it with some white. You see how that's working? Looking pretty nice, huh? We'll be doing those for the other side. We'll fill it in with some red and shadow with the black. And then we'll highlight it with the white. We're taking our green and our black together and we're going to put it into the center of the poinsettia. Take some yellow and we'll dab in right on top of that. We'll bring out the center of the poinsettia. And then we'll add a little bit of white onto the poinsettia leaves to bring them out a little bit more. Now we'll work on some holly right up on the top corner. We'll take some green and some black together to make the green really dark. And we'll add a touch of yellow to warm it up. And we'll just create our holly. Now the berries automatically appear. Since we were running short of time, I just went ahead and skipped the part of creating the berries. Now we're going to sign our work. Once your painting is signed, we're going to paint the edges black, and that way you can hang it up on the wall without a frame. <laughs>